So the first thing we need to do to get started is get our domain name and hosting set up because without that we won't have a place for people to go to find our website and without hosting we wouldn't be able to uh, have any content. So if we go over to the resources page on the davidmillerwebdev.com site and you'll see a little brief description of what domain name and hosting are. The domain name is the name of your website. So for instance, Amazon's domain name is amazon.com. eBay's domain name is ebay.com. Apple's domain name is apple.com. And my website is davidmillerwebdev.com. And uh, there are also other extensions. The little back part after the dot, after your name, the .com, or you have .net or .org. Uh, there's a bunch of extensions. They're, they're all pretty popular. .com obviously is the most popular, but sometimes that's taken so you can get these other ones, and that's fine too. It's just sort of the name that people will type in to find you. Um, hosting is different. Hosting is the service that allows your website to have content. So all your photographs and all your written content all of that is going to be stored on a computer that's on functioning running 24 hours a day seven days a week so it's really important that you use a good hosting service a reliable one i of course recommend hostgator uh, hostgator i've used for a long time in terms of quality of service and expense they are the best uh, and i also recommend you definitely use the discount code uh, discount hosting one and that'll give you even more savings the cost for domain names you have to renew them each year they're about $13 a year and the cost for hosting is about $10 per month so to get started for your own free website you're gonna have about $20 in expense but those are like I said necessary expenses you have to have a name a domain name and you have to have hosting so uh, luckily the Building the website is free because you're using this tutorial, so that's good. So you'll save money, and if you use, like I said, the discount code, uh, discount hosting one, uh, that gives me credit, allows me to build these uh, tutorials and information videos for you, and I really appreciate that. What you can do is we can either go to hostgator.com, or I recommend just hitting the link that I've provided on the David Miller website. You can either hit that or on the description page on this video. So anyway, so it'll take us to the uh, main page of HostGator and they sh you'll see that there's three plans that they offer. Uh, I don't recommend using the business plan. I do not recommend this because one, you can always upgrade to the bigger plan if you need it at any time, but why pay more now if you might not need a private SSL and all those other things that we really probably don't need. I recommend these, these plans right here, either the hatchling plan or the baby plan, and the only difference between the hatchling plan and the baby plan are the hatchling plan allows you to have one domain name, so davidmillerwebdev.com would be the only domain name that I could host with this account. Whereas with the baby plan, it allows you to have an unlimited amount of domain names. I could have davidmillerwebdev.com or mybeautifuleasyawesomewebsite.com or whatever you want. So what we do is we pick a plan and hit sign up now. And here is the sign up page. And what you'll do here is first pick a domain name. So let's try my domain name is David Miller. And you just hit enter. And it'll say if it's taken or if this one's available, green. So you'll see the dot com. And you can pick, like I said, any extension you want, I'm going to go with the .com because like I said, that's the most common and uh, easily recognizable. And they give you a whole selection of, if you want to select more, you can add more to the list. But for right now, 
We just want the one domain name to get started. So we're gonna select that, that was available. Now if it wasn't available, um, for instance, uh, let's say that, my domain name. So this, if it's not available, it'll say unavailable, but it might have my domain name dot site available. So if you really are stuck on a name or want that particular name, uh, there are other options. Maybe there's an extension for you, but for us, we want we want the rest of that. Uh, so we're gonna go with this one. This one's available. My domain name davidmiller.com. You're gonna scroll down. Now you have these. After you select your domain name, you're going to have these added services that they want. For instance, if you want privacy. Um, that's that's going to be an extra twelve ninety five a year. Uh, some people don't want uh, the public to know that there's uh, that they're connected to that domain if they want privacy. I would unclick it because most people don't look up who owns individual websites, and most time you're selling yourself and your services and your things anyway. But if it, if privacy is important to you, then definitely click it. It's worth the twelve ninety five a year. But for us, we're not gonna we're gonna uncheck that because that's not important for us. Uh, choose the plan. I want, let's say I want multiple names down the line. So I'm not gonna go with the hatchling plan, but I want all the services. I'm gonna take the baby plan. And so once you select the baby plan, you can choose which service you want. Uh, do I want one month? Now, naturally, if you pay in advance, so if I pay a year, it's four seventy-eight. Or if I pay, or if I pay for two years, it's a little cheaper, three years, etc. So uh, choose whichever one fits your budget. If you want to pay a little bit less every month, uh, I recommend going for a longer term. Otherwise, maybe just a year is fine. Username, uh, anything that works, something that remi reminds you is easily rememberable. And you know, for any code, just select any code. It must be four to eight characters long, contain numbers. So for that, pretty self-explanatory. Now for entering your billing info. This is gonna be where you enter your email that they can confirm the purchase, uh, your name, your information, and you can pay by credit card or if you are in a country that doesn't have or accept uh, your credit card, you can always pay by PayPal, sign in with PayPal, pay that way. So we're gonna pretend we've in inserted all that information right there. And then the next section is additional services. I really don't think you're gonna need any of these services, so I would go ahead and uncheck them and make sure you do this because otherwise when it comes to checkout, you're gonna have uh, more things that you probably don't need and it'll raise the cost so we're gonna get rid of that and uh, finally what we're gonna to want to do is in the enter the coupon code we're gonna enter discount hosting one and validate and what you'll see there is now the order review. So discount hosting one validated, it got the check, so thank you very much, I appreciate that. And that gives me credit. And so now we'll look at 24 hour service, free, instant account activation, free, you got a 45 day money back guarantee. Uh, our domain name, my domain name, davidmiller.com for one year, paid for. Um, and then we and then it verifies we want in fact the baby plan for 12 months and that comes to a hundred dollars um, so that is how it works it also shows the discount that you've received and once we're ready to go we hit this and we check hit checkout 